On today's episode, we're going to discuss my philosophy for everyday carry. Hey guys, welcome back to Jolly Living. I hope you're having a sensational day as always. On this episode, we're going to be discussing everyday carry. So, I just got back from the gym. Uh, I started to edit this for video and I discovered that I had messed up the uh, formatting of the video. So I'm re-recording it now. I'm going to do it in a more off-the-cuff uh, style, vlog style, if you will. I'm just going to discuss my concerns when I'm thinking about everyday carry, um, how it may apply to you, how it may not apply to you, because at the end of the day, we're all different. We all have different needs. So let's just jump right into it. So firstly, let's discuss my philosophies when it comes to everyday carry. The first part of my philosophy is that whatever you're carrying, it needs to be cost effective. So for me, I've lost flashlights, I've lost wallets, I've lost all sorts of things. It's a fact of life. For me to replace a $200 flashlight over and over, it just doesn't work out. So I'm looking for an item that's going to be reliable, but also doesn't break the bank. That's why you'll see me carrying things like stream lights, things like um, my wallets, the DACA wallet from Magpul. They're inexpensive, they're quality, and they do the job that I need them to do. So the second thing that I look for when it comes to EDC is simplicity. Both simplicity in the objects that I carry, but also simplicity in what I carry. Meaning, I like the objects that I uh, carry to be simple objects. They aren't going to be the most complicated, the most frilly uh, item that I can carry for that particular category. Um, an example would be like the Zevtech uh, Glocks. Yes, they look great. Yes, they're functional, but they aren't simple. There's more failure points. There's more things that can go wrong. Um, secondly, simplicity in what you carry. So. I see people running around with fanny packs full of eye packs and stuff like that. In my opinion, and this is my opinion, uh, you don't need that. If you keep it in your car, awesome. I keep an eye pack in my car, but I'm not running around with this stuff on me. It interferes with my day to day life. You don't need that. I don't need that. They probably don't need that. So keep it simple, both in what it is and how you carry it. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what I carry in my day-to-day. -day. It varies because I do work in a place where I'm not allowed to carry a handgun. I am allowed to carry a knife, though. Um, all of these items, you will notice, are both cost-effective and that they do their job, but they also come in at a fairly low price point compared to some of the premium, if you'll call them, options on the market. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it, and guys, keep in mind, I will be doing a review for each and every one of these items. First things first, let's get the simple stuff out of the way. I've got my car keys, which are nothing special. It's the only tool on here is literally a uh, old bottle opener. I think it said Boston Bruins on it at one point. Uh, just aluminum, does the trick. And then my cell phone, it's in a cheap case from Amazon. Nothing special here again. Moving on to the implements that I carry, I carry both the Streamlight MicroStream USB and the Kershaw Shallot. It's a uh, spring-assisted folding knife. It's made by or designed by Ken Onion, which is why I think it's called the Shallot. I believe his line of knives made by Kershaw were all named after onion-type foods, things. Yeah. The next thing that I keep on me is I always wear a watch. Uh, when I'm at work, you'll see that I'm wearing a um, Timex uh, Iron Man watch. I bought it four years ago at the Navy Exchange for like $30. It's worked every moment since then. I've had no problems with it. I would recommend it to anybody and it does what I need. It's there for when I run. I can time my runs. I can do all sorts of stuff, set alarms uh, if I need that. Uh, when I'm, you know, going out doing something a little fancier, I have a uh, Seiko automatic watch. It's a favorite of mine because I've always been fascinated by automatic movements, and it comes in at a very low price point. But if you slap a uh, relatively good-looking wristband on there, it can come off as a much better uh, watch than it truly is. 
Uh, on top of that, I also have a very nice watch that's been passed down to me from my grandfather to my father, uh, then to myself. Uh, that I wear for like weddings and very, very uh, fancy occasions that this probably wouldn't stand up to. For a wallet, I carry the Magpul Daco wallet. It's uh, a very minimalist wallet. It does everything that I need because I personally don't carry cash. I don't carry too much in the way of business cards or anything like that. It holds my debit card. It holds my driver's license. It holds my military ID. Uh, beyond that, like I think I've got uh, another debit card, a credit card, uh, a rewards card from my supermarket that I go to. Uh, but a favorite of mine, and you can look forward to that being the next review that I do. Finally, we get to the uh, concealed carry portion of this. I carry an extra mag. I forget, I think it's Blade Tech makes the mag carrier, and it's a tech lock on the back of it that uh, holds it to the belt. <clears throat> I keep my handgun in a Stealth Gear holster. It's very comfortable on the backside. It's nice and squishy, so it absorbs all the sweat that would normally be there if you had a leather back holster or uh, just a straight kydex on your skin it's a lot more comfortable uh, inside of this holster i keep a glock 19 gen 4 it's got an enforce aplc on it uh, the sights i've replaced with uh, excess big dot sights let's see if that focuses in uh, underneath it, I've got a uh, magazine well by Magpul. It's cheap, it's simple, it does the job, it doesn't need to be anything more than that. And I carry two 15-round magazines. And that wraps it up for my EDC philosophies as well as what I carry. I've provided links in the description below for what I have here. Uh, clicking on it does help me out. It allows me to improve the quality of the videos that you see as well as the items that I will be reviewing. Uh, on top of that, I just want to thank you for being here, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.